Alright guys, welcome to math class. We're going to talk a little bit about our planning and what we need to be doing for the next month or so, five weeks, and then finals in red. Um, for the next two weeks, we're going to be going over quadratic inequalities and equations. Um, it's going to be cr pretty cool. We're also going to take a snapshot to compare where I'm at with all the other teachers. It's not really a grade for you, it's a grade for me. And in those little quadratic equation stuff, I need to extend, review, assess, reteach everything that I've taught you before, or thought I taught you. Probably put it in video form, make it a little bit more easier to check digest and you know just work with you and the technology get everything down that you need to know then we're going to jump into quadratic functions slightly different no more graphs that much I think it's just a uh, hand manipulation but as long as you understand the graph you can do anything you you can do anything. And then I'll just review absolute value, matrices, and linear regressions in that, and you guys will be fine. Quadratic equations and inequalities. <sighs> Oh, don't worry. We are super fun here. And I promise I won't stop until this little guy's leaping and laughing like the other kids. So, kind of a top counselor here, it doesn't matter, but yeah. <laughs> That's Start off with um, some of these equations and an example. Um, basically, anytime you see one of these graphs, um, the parabola or quadratic graph, the little U shape, you're going to see an equation that looks like this. One of these three. We'll create that U shape. And all three of those different ones will create that particular U shape. And today we're just going to explore some of the aspects that these equations in their different forms show us. He has anger issues. Hey, little guy. My name's Thomas, and uh, I'm gonna be your best buddy today. All right, come on, let's go. Whoa, <laughs> he's fun. Okay, so right here in the middle, we have a vertex form. It shows us where the vertex is, or the turning point of that very important, in this case, minimum. Um, in a simple equation. Hey! Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Come on! Go, 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 go. Next thing we have is uh, x minus 1 in parentheses times x minus 5 in parentheses. And that's just the same equation now in factored form. And that tells us that our roots or solutions where x-intercepts are when y is equal to 0, um, x is equal to 1, and 5, which is pretty cool. Cyrus roasting weenies! Huh. And our last thing, that y-intercept, um, that is standard form. And basically, and it's very easy to go from that to factored form. It's a little hard to get from there to vertex form. But it's not that bad. Cyrus, watch some crafts. Please, snip it. 
sure you've done it, so. Cyrus, come on. Anyway, let's practice. I hope you took some notes. I hope you've understood the video. Come on, Kaya. <laughs> what are the roots of this function? Tires, come on, tires. Come on. Oh. What form is this in? It's just sand. Really? Come on. The y-intercept is... Cyrus, get in the arm breaker, it's fun! And usually when you see these um, kind of questions on tests, it'll be like, match the following quadratic function with one of these graphs usually don't have to draw them and of course the easy way is to put it on the calculator and make sure you did it right but if you use, do it this way and you took all your notes um, you should be able to graph or put like four dots in place and then connect the little u-shape pretty fast using all these all this information that you got Cyrus, Cyrus, Cyrus. What are we gonna do with you? Just hop in the pool. All the other kids are in there and they're having a blast. No. Ooh, it speaks. What the heck? Anyway. Um, that's what it should have looked like. You're making me mad. I'm just trying to get you to have fun, Cyrus. So why don't you hop in the pool and we'll start having fun, okay? So let's get the shirt off and we can just, no. give me your shirt, give me your shirt, stop struggling. And here's some bonus questions for you guys on what side or over which interval is the graph increasing? Yeah, that I want. Are you sure you're ten? You made a huge mistake. What are you talking about, Cyrus? I... Over which interval is the graph decreasing? Ooh. Oh, what the...